Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Swaga video. So I'm back here with another free free battle for you. Now you'll be able to find this and all my other counters on my Swaga for Life tool. If you haven't seen it yet, go and check it out. There'll be a link in the description below. But for today's video, I'm going up against uh, Darth Revan here uh, with Bastila and Malak. And I'll be going in with uh, you know this new counter that's been uh, appearing recently over uh, this free free season here. Uh, that is Thrawn lead, Vader and a pre-taunting tank of your choice. Now in my case I'll be using uh, Kylo Ren and Maz there. He's a great choice because uh, you know his two turn stun can't be resi resisted. Uh, so once you're only down to Malak it'll help you a little bit to keep Malak uh, under control to maximize your banners. Another great choice there uh, would be L3 because she can self cleanse and you know she'll be taunting as well. But in my case I didn't have L3 available so I use Kylo uh, in this case now. For this counter to work, you need to really look out for the speeds, okay? So ideally, uh, this is the turn order here that, that I will show you. So you want Darth Revan to go first, uh, not Malak, because if Malak goes before Bastila and before Darth Revan, he can dispel the taunt there on Kylo, and then, you know, you could be in trouble because then Bastila and Darth Revan will be able to target the other guys. So ideal um, here order is that uh, Darth Revan absolutely has to go first, be especially before your uh, Vader so that he loses foresight. Alright, so as mentioned, Darth Vader will go first and apply fear on your uh, tank and your leader, in this case Throne. Now with Throne's lead, every time Empire allies are debuffed, uh, they gain a bonus turn meter. So there you go. <laughs> Even though he was just feared Throne, he already uh, and had a turn, he already has a half full turn meters because he got debuffed, he got some extra turn meter. Now Bastila here, uh, she will obviously target here your tank and apply fear and the second one uh, obviously is random so it's not going to be Throne or Vader. Now in my case that fear landed on Throne which is good because then my Vader can get immediate turn now. If that uh, would uh, actually be over on Vader uh, then what you would have to do is um, just let Vader get a turn and then you could you can swap their meter there with Throne so then Throne can pass their meter back to Vader. Okay. But in this case, that's what happened. So there you go, Taunt is dispelled. Now Vader will enter Merciless Massacre here. And when he's in Merciless Massacre, he can't be feared. So you don't need to worry about Malak, you know, uh, here really annoying you. So first things first, I just like to target here Malak. Use Force Crush to apply more debuffs on the board. And now uh, with the Culling Blade, you can literally one-shot Darth Revan. Because you can see, because of stacks of Ferocity there, uh, that also counts as a debuff. So, you know, this would be a nice big hit here because in total I've got now 8 debuffs on Revan. So let's just see how much damage will do. So you go 220k, no problem whatsoever. And now with Darth Revan out of the way, you can ability block and you can stun these guys. So first things first, uh, I just like to take out uh, Bastila here. And here I'll just um, swap up again Termeter here with Vader. Trying to get rid of Bastila. Come on, let's go. Alright. So we got Shock there. All right, now here obviously I do not have Merciless Massacre, so if I do crit here or apply dots on Malak, um, obviously, you know, he, my guys will get fear, so instead I'm just using here Thrones Leadership Special Ability, that is kind of like a self-cleanse, and then you also gain uh, some turn meter after you use it. Um, so it just allows you a little bit to, you know, let Mal Malak um, take a turn and lose the taunt, so you can then turn your attention back over uh, to Bastila here. There we go, so Calling Blade took her out. And now we can just go ahead uh, Fracture Malak here. We'll be getting Fear, that's okay. Alright, so just, you know, waiting for the right moment here. Uh, I'm just taking my time now, uh, topping up Kylo here to full protection as well as Thrawn. I probably could have thrown a Culling Blade there and finish off Malak, but I want to make sure I get max banners here. So again, just using Thrawn's leadership ability there uh, that Empire allies get. Uh, that kind of you new know, cleanse and you get 50% of the meter so you can quickly get extra turns here so that you get your abilities ready to use. Now there we go, so this is where the two turn stun from Kylo and Mask comes in handy. So we have now Malak stunned uh, and everybody's got now full protection. Alright, let's see if we can get out a fracture here on Malak and enter a merciless massacre and throw up a calling blade. Boom, for a big hit and there we go, full banner skill 54. And there you go guys, that's how this counter works. Um, it's pretty straightforward as long as uh, those speeds that I mentioned in the beginning align that Darth uh, Revan goes first, 
uh, and then Bastila, and then, you know, you're thrown and Vader, and then Malak. So, you know, Malak doesn't really interfere too much with what you do. I mean, you can still win, but, you know, if for really the most straightforward counters, this is the ideal turn order uh, that I showed you in this video that makes it very easy to take down, even, you know, this, uh, I think, uh, Revan was 340 plus speed. Alright guys, so I hope you found this video useful and helpful. Let me know in the comments below or on my Discord server. But until then, have fun, enjoy life and may the RNG be with you, my friends.